A few days ago, I was in the mood to test myself on how well I remember the periodic table. I know it sounds nerdy, but stay with me. I was going to try to see if I could draw and fill in all the elements of the periodic table like I used to back in high school. Surprisingly, apart from some spelling mistakes, I knew all of them, but I started to wonder where all these names came from. I knew the obvious ones named after mythological characters, planets and scientists, but not the more common ones like iron or copper. So I went down an etymological rabbit hole which led to the making of this video. I will stick to just etymology or where these words came from and some basic or interesting facts. There's 118 elements, so let's get started. With the symbol H, hydrogen is derived from the Greek hydro and genus, which means water former, because you get water when hydrogen gas is burned in air. The GEN comes from a similar place as generate, is the simplest element, one proton and one electron, the lightest element and the most abundant in the universe. Helium has the symbol HE and comes from the name of the titan Helios from Greek mythology. This is because it was detected as a yellow spectral line signature in sunlight during a solar eclipse. Helium is the second most abundant element, making up roughly 24% of the universe, while hydrogen makes up 75% of all matter. Lithium, with the symbol Li, is the lightest metallic element and its name comes from the Greek lithos, which means stone, because it was discovered from a mineral. Lithos is the root word for paleolithic and lithosphere. It's extremely reactive and has to be stored in mineral oil. Beryllium, BE, is named after the pale green mineral it is found in, called beryl, which has two varieties, aquamarine and emerald. Beryllium is extremely stiff and lightweight, so it is used in spacecraft, satellites and even high-end bicycle frames. When using beryllium, special care has to be taken, as inhaling beryllium dust can cause a chronic life-threatening disease called beryliosis. Boron, with the symbol B, was isolated from borax, so it was named after it. Borax is used in cosmetics, detergents and even as an insecticide. Boron is used mostly as an additive in fiberglass and in borosilicate glass. Carbon has the symbol C and is derived ultimately from the Latin carbo, which means charcoal. Carbon is the building block of all living things on Earth and forms a massive number of compounds, of which roughly 10 million compounds have been described to date. Nitrogen, with the symbol N, gets its name from the French nitrogen, which means I form nitre or native soda. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere and a very important element in organic chemistry, with uses in a variety of fields from making gunpowder to Kevlar. Oxygen, with the symbol O, comes from a Greek phrase that means I form acid, as it was believed to be an essential component of acids. Oxygen is essential for breathing and combustion, and it forms O3 or ozone, a layer of which is present in the atmosphere, which blocks harmful UV radiation from reaching us. Fluorine, F, gets its name from one of its compounds, fluorspar or fluorite. Fluorine often gets misspelled as F-L-O-U-R, but it's actually spelled F-L-U-O-R-I-N-E. The fluo in fluorspar means flow in Latin, as it was used to lower the melting point of many metal ores. Fluorocarbons are greenhouse gases and fluoride is a mineral used in toothpaste to protect teeth from decay. Neon, with the symbol N-E, is named after the Greek word for new, and it was suggested by one of the inventor's son. It's a noble gas, hence chemically odorless, colorless, monoatomic, and chemically inert. And neon, of course, is famous for its use in advertising signs, and objectively has one of the simplest but coolest names of all the elements. Sodium gets its name from soda, which is used to refer to sodium compounds, like caustic soda and baking soda. The symbol of sodium is Na, after its other name, Natrium, which was natural soda, a kind of salt. Table salt is a sodium compound as well. Sodium vapor lamps produce monochromatic light at an exact known wavelength and are hence used in many scientific applications. Magnesium, Mg, is named after Magnesia, a district in Greece where it was discovered. The region of Magnesia was named after its mines of abundant magnetite, which lent its name to magnets as well. Magnesium is an abundant element in seawater and it's used commonly in laxatives and antacids like milk of magnesia. Aluminium, or aluminum as Americans call it, gets its name from alumina or 
aluminium oxide, which in turn comes from the Latin word alumen, which literally means bitter salt, and is generally known in English as alum, the kind used in treating water. Aluminium was originally called aluminium by its inventor, but he later accepted aluminum, but today it's called that only in USA and Canada. It's called aluminium in the rest of the world after scientists proposed the spelling change as it apparently sounded more classical, although both are accepted by IUPAC. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Aluminium is the primary spelling, but what is undisputed is its symbol, AL. Silicon, SI, gets its name from the Latin word for flint, a stone which is chiefly made of silicon dioxide. More than 90% of the Earth's crust is composed of silicate minerals, making silicon the second most abundant element in the crust after oxygen. Silicon is also very useful as it forms the foundation of all electronic components, hence Silicon Valley in California. Phosphorus gets its name from the Greek phos and phoros, which means light bearer, because white phosphorus emits a faint white glow when exposed to oxygen. Phosphorus was the ancient name for the planet Venus, which also has a faint glow. Phosphorus is useful for making matches and fertilizers, and it has the symbol P. Sulfur, S, gets its name from the Proto-Indo-European word swelp, which means to burn. Proto-Indo-European is a theorized language thought to be the ancestor of many Indo-European languages, and we will encounter it quite regularly. Sulfur was also spelled as S-U-L-P-H-E-R, but it has now been standardized by the IUPAC as S-U-L-F-U-R. Chlorine gets its name from the Greek chloros, which means yellowish green because of the color of the gas. It has the symbol Cl. Chlorine is extremely dangerous for living organisms and was used as a chemical warfare agent during World War I. Argon, AR, is a noble gas under neon in the periodic table and gets its name from the Greek word for inactive or slow, which is appropriate for this chemically non-reactive element. Argon is the third most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere after nitrogen and oxygen, at just under 1%. Argon is also used as an inert shielding gas in welding and high temperature industrial processes. Potassium gets its name from potash, which is a potassium compound, potassium carbonate. It was earlier extracted in a pot from the ash of burnt wood or leaves, but is usually mined these days. Potassium in the soil is heavily depleted by heavy crop production and therefore agricultural fertilizers account for 95% of global potassium usage. The symbol for potassium is K from its Latin name Calium, which means calcined ashes. Bananas are very rich in potassium and since 0.0117% of naturally occurring potassium is the unstable isotope potassium 40, therefore bananas and all plants are ever so slightly radioactive. A truckload of bananas, for example, can trigger a false alarm when passing through radiation monitors that are used to detect smuggling of nuclear materials. Calcium, CA, gets its name from the Latin word for lime, as limestone is a compound of calcium. A lot of calcium compounds have been known for millennia in the form of lime as a building material or plaster for statues. Calcium compounds make up hard formations like limestone, dolomite, marble and chalk, as well as coral, seashells and pearls. Scandium is named after the Latinized version Scandia of the northern European region of Scandinavia, which comprises of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Scandium is a very rare and expensive element and has the symbol SC. Titanium Ti is named for the Titans from Greek mythology. They were the 12 children of Gaia, the Mother Earth. Titanium is named so for its incredible strength to density ratio, as well as its resistance to corrosion. Titanium is very abundant in the Earth's crust in its oxide form, which is used in white paint, but very difficult and expensive to extract to its pure form, hence its price. Personally, titanium is probably my favorite element and also has one of the most certifiably awesome names, titanium. Vanadium, V, gets its name from Vanadis, one of the names for goddess Freya in Norse mythology, because of its beautifully multicolored chemical compounds. Its discoverer had originally proposed the names panchromium, meaning all colors, and erythronium, because a lot of its compounds turned red when heated. Erythronium would have been a very cool name, but the discoverer retracted his claim and it was hence named vanadium by a rediscoverer. Chromium is named after the Greek word chroma, meaning color, because of its multicolored compounds. Chromium has the symbol CR and is used to make stainless steel as well as for chrome plating. The red color of rubies is due to trace amounts of chromium. Manganese, like magnesium, is also named after magnesia, a region of Greece, but it's Latinized and probably incorrect spelling is used. It's not just because people love this place, but the region has pyrolusite minerals, which consist of manganese. 
Manganese has the symbol MN and is used in the production of steel and in batteries. Iron has been in use for a long time, so it has many names and iterations. The name Iron comes from the Proto-Germanic Isarnon, which is also the source of German name Eisen. It was likely a word borrowed from Celtic and before that Proto-Indo-European as always. It means holy metal or strong metal. The chemical symbol of iron though is Fe for its Latin name ferrum. Iron is the most common element in the earth and is used for all the obvious things I'm sure you don't need me to repeat. Cobalt is named after Kobold, K-O-B-O-L-D, which were evil spirits or goblins in Germanic mythology. It is said to have been named that by miners because it was poisonous and troublesome. A version of the myth goes that these cobalt spirits had stolen the silver from the mines and placed cobalt in its stead. It is also supposed that the name comes from the Greek kobalos, which means mine, the hole in the ground type, not the possessive type, I think. Cobalt CO is used primarily in lithium ion batteries that, like those used in your phone and also in high strength alloys. Cobalt compounds have been used for centuries to get rich blue colors in glass and ceramics. It was discovered in the 1730s and became the first metal to be discovered since the prehistorical period. Nickel, NI, was named thus because of years of misunderstanding. Nickel ores were misidentified as white copper and therefore the mineral with its German or Swedish name, Kupfernickel, gave the element its name when it was finally extracted. Nickel is used in many alloys and electroplating as well as in batteries. Nickel was used in coinage and hence the name for some coins in USA, which are made up of 75% copper and 25% nickel. Kupfernickel. Copper gets its name from Cyprus. It actually means that which is from Cyprus. Through centuries of translation, simplification and corruption of the word through Greek Kyprios, Latin cuprum, where we get its chemical symbol, Cu. West Germanic cupar, Old English copper, and the Middle English copper, albeit with a single P. Copper is a soft metal and has been used in countless applications over millennia. Due to its high conductivity, it is used in thermal applications as well as electrical wires. It has been used in jewelry and gives the blue-green color to minerals like azurite, malachite and turquoise. Zinc is found in spiky crystals and perhaps inspired the alchemist Paracelsus to call it zinc, which means prong or tooth in Germany. Zinc has many useful compounds and it's used in dietary supplements, anti-dandruff shampoo and paints. The most important use of zinc, Zn, is in coating iron or steel in a process called galvanization. And it was also used as one of the electrodes in Alessandro Volta's electric cells. Gallium derives its name from Gallia, the Latin name for Gaul, ancient Greece. The discoverer, Lecoq de Bois-Baudron, named it after his native land as well as a pun on his own name. Lecoq means the rooster or in Latin, Gallus. Gallium is one of the elements predicted by Dmitry Mendeleev based on his periodic table of elements. He called gallium Eka Aluminium. Germanium Eka Silicon and Scandium Eka Boron due to their predicted chemical similarities. Mendeleev predicted five more elements and gave them prefixes Eka, Dvi and Tri after the Sanskrit words for 1, 2 and 3 to honor the Sanskrit grammarian and father of linguistics Panini. Gallium is very soft and has its melting point above room temperature but below the normal human body temperature so it stays solid on the table but would melt in your hands. Germanium is named after the Latin Germania, meaning Germany after the discoverer's homeland. He had wanted to name it Neptunium after the then recently discovered planet, which like the element had been mathematically predicted before its discovery. This proposal was rejected because the name Neptunium was already given to another proposed element, although not the element we know now as Neptunium. Germanium, like silicon above it in the periodic table, is a semiconductor in its pure form and hence has many applications in transistors and modern electronics. Arsenic is named after the Greek Arsenikon or Persian Zarnik for a yellow arsenide mineral called orpiment. It is also falsely related to the Greek word that means masculine or potent. The latter meaning might be quite apt actually since arsenic is extremely dangerous for human health and is a known carcinogen. Due to its use for political assassinations over centuries, arsenic AS is often called the poison of kings and the king of poisons.
Selenium gets its name from the Greek Selene, which means moon and is also the name of the moon goddess. It was named after the moon due to its similarity to the previously discovered tellurium, which was named after the earth. It has the chemical symbol SE and is mostly used in the production of glass to cancel out the green or yellow that arises in glass due to impurities. Thankfully, some isotopes of selenium have been found on moon rocks or the name would have been ironic. Bromine is a red-brown liquid at room temperature with a sharp bad smell and was therefore named after the Greek word for stench. Bromine Br, is highly reactive and has many uses like in flame retardants but bromide compounds were also used in the first world war as poison gas. Krypton is an element that as a kid I was amazed to find out was real because of its similarity to the mineral that was Superman's only weakness. But Krypton gets its name from the Greek Kryptos which means the hidden one which is also where we get words like cryptic and encryption. It is called so because of its colorless, odorless, tasteless, gaseous properties as well as its rarity in nature. Krypton has the chemical symbol Kr and is a noble gas, so it's chemically inert and was discovered just a few weeks before neon by the same people. Rubidium, Rb, is named after the Latin rubidus, which means deepest red, for its emission spectrum in the flame spectroscopy technique used to discover it. Rubidium compounds are sometimes used in fireworks to give them a purple color and also in many cutting edge scientific applications. Strontium is named after the mineral strontianite, which was in turn named after the city of Strontian, Scotland, where they were mined. A major use of strontium SR was in glass for the old color televisions that had cathode ray tubes, where it prevented X-ray emission. Yttrium is quite interestingly named. It is named after the Swedish village of Yeterby, where it was discovered. The name of the village actually means outer village, but it is important because it is the single richest source of elemental discoveries in the world, thus giving its name to four elements, yttrium, Y, euterbium, YB, erbium, ER, and terbium, TB. But four more elements also trace their discovery to the same quarry, homium, HO, scandium, SC, and thulium, TM, which were all named after the region where euterbium exists, and gadolinium, GD, named after the chemist gadolin, who realized the existence of these. Yttrium has the chemical symbol Y and is used in CRTs, white LEDs and many medical applications. Another one of my favorite element names, Zirconium ZR, gets its name from the German variant of the Persian word Zargun, which means gold-like. Zirconium compounds are used in many space and aeronautic industries due to their resistance to heat as well as in nuclear and medical applications. Niobium NB is named after Niobe, the daughter of Tantalus in Greek mythology, who gives his name to another element, Tantalum, due to their similarities. It is found in the mineral columbite, and so it is also sometimes unofficially known as Columbium, after Columbia, the female personification of America. Molybdenum MO gets its name from the Greek molybdos, meaning lead, since its ores were mistaken to be ores of lead. 80% of molybdenum is used in steel's high strength alloys and super alloys. It is heavily used in armor plating as a substitute for tungsten during both world wars. Technetium was the first artificially produced element and therefore gets its name from the Greek technetos, which means artificial. Technetium, with the chemical symbol Tc, is the lightest element whose isotopes are all radioactive. This element was also predicted to exist by Dmitry Mendeleev, who gave it the placeholder name Ecomanganese. Due to its radioactivity, it is heavily used in nuclear medicine as well as some chemical industries. Ruthenium, Ru, gets its name from the Latin word Ruthenia for the geographical region of East Slavic states called Kievan Rus in honor of Russia as it was discovered in a Russian university. Ruthenium is one of the six members in the platinum group metals. It is used in electrical contacts and found in pen nibs. More recently, ruthenium compounds have found promise in various fields due to its unusual properties like quantum critical point behavior, exotic superconductivity, and high temperature ferromagnetism. I know. Rhodium gets its name from the Greek rhodon, which means rose, due to its rose red compounds. Rhodium, RH, is also part of the platinum group metals, which are chemically very inert, hence its primary use is in catalytic converters in cars or as an industrial catalyst. Rhodium is also electroplated onto white gold and platinum to give it a reflective white surface.
Palladium gets its name from Pallas, the asteroid discovered two years earlier. The asteroid itself was named after Pallas Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom. Palladium, PD, also has a very likable name in my opinion and is used in catalytic converters, electronics, medicine, da 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 da. Silver gets its name from various versions in numerous languages, all of which mean to refine or smelt. The chemical symbol of silver is AG after its Latin name, Argentum, which is derived from the Proto-Indo-European word for shiny or white. Silver is a precious metal and has been used for millennia in coins and jewelry, as well as in solar panels, electrical contacts, conductors and photographic processes. Cadmium gets its name from calamine, a mineral and Cadmos, a character in Greek mythology. Calamine is derived from the French name of the Belgian town of Calmis. Cadmium, CD, is a common component of electric batteries, pigments, coatings, and electroplating. Indium is named after indigo because of an indigo colored spectrum line. The word indigo itself comes from a blue dye from India. Indium, IN, was used to coat bearings in high performance aircraft engines during World War II to protect against damage and corrosion. It is also used in semiconductor electronic applications. Tin is a shared name from Germanic languages traced back up to Proto-Germanic. The chemical symbol for tin is SN from its Latin name Stannum, which originally was named for an alloy of silver and lead and came to mean tin in the 4th century. Tin is majorly used in soldering but is also used in tin plating and in making brass and bronze alloys. Tin was popularized in the form of tin cans used to store food in the 20th century, though it was later replaced by aluminium. Antimony has been known to us in its elemental form from at least 815 AD and therefore the origin of its name is apocryphal. One theory has its name being taken from Byzantine Greek, antimonium, which would be a corruption of Arabic words like ithamid and athimar, which was the Arabic name for the metalloid. Another theory traces its root to antimonachos or the French antimoine, which means monk killer because of its poisonous nature at the time experienced by monks who were part-time alchemists. Another hypothesis states that it derives its name from the Greek antimonos, meaning against aloneness, maybe to explain its occurrence never being alone or in pure form. Yet another theory traces the root to the Greek anthemonion, which would mean floret, the process of a salt forming over a metal. Antimony has the symbol SB and that has equally convoluted origins. It is an abbreviation for stibium, the name it was given by a Swedish chemist, but stibium itself has a few possible origins. The theory is that it comes from the Egyptian hieroglyph misdemut, which would also be read as stem, which would give the Greek word stimi. Later Greeks used the word stibi, hence stibium. Antimony is used in flame retardants, alloys for batteries and for soldering. The oldest use for antimony was coal, which was essentially a 5000 year old form of mascara. Tellurium has a much simpler origin. It gets its name from the Latin tellus, which means earth. The discoverer predicted that it would be very similar to antimony, but it did not exhibit similarities, so he temporarily called the element aurum paradoxum, paradoxical gold. Tellurium, TE, is used in semiconductor applications and in important alloys of copper and steel. Iodine gets its name from the Greek iodes, which means violet because of the color of iodine gas. Iodine, I, is used mostly as a catalyst in many industrial processes and in making dyes, pigments, pharmaceuticals and photography. Xenon gets its name from the Greek xenos, which means foreign or stranger. It's also where we get words like xenophobe. It is not to be confused with the Greek word xenia, which means quite the opposite, hospitality. Xenon was the first noble gas to be synthesized and has many applications due to its inert nature. Xenon is used for camera flashes and movie projectors, as well as headlights in cars. Cesium is named after the Latin Cesius, which means sky blue, based upon the bright blue lines in its spectrum. Cesium, CS, was the first element discovered by spectrum analysis. Spelling is officially C-A-E-S-I-U-M, although C-E-S-I-U-M is also accepted in America. The international standard units, second and meter, were defined using the emission spectrum of cesium and is used in highly accurate atomic clocks. Barium oxide was a heavy mineral called barot or barita, so its metal form was named barium with the chemical symbol BA. The Greek word baris means heavy. Barium is a component of high temperature superconductors and is even used in fireworks to get green color.
Lanthanum comes from the Greek lanthanine, which means to lie hidden because it occurred as an impurity in cerium nitrate. Lanthanum gives its name to the sixth period transition metals called the lanthanide series and cohabitates the third group of the sixth period with the entire series. Lanthanum compounds are used as catalysts, additives in glass, ignition elements, in lighters, and as electrodes. Cerium was named after the asteroid Ceres that was discovered two years earlier. The asteroid, which was named after the Roman goddess of fertility, Ceres, has since been given the status of dwarf planet. The word Ceres itself is derived from the Proto-Indo-European Ceres, meaning to grow and we get modern words like cereal from it. Cerium is used today in applications like polishing glass and ferrocerium lighters as well as electronic applications. Praseodymium PR is derived from the Greek Pasios Didymos, meaning green twin, because of the mixture didymium, which separated into the elements Praseodymium and Neodymium. Their salts were of different colors. Praseodymiums were green in color. As lanthanides are very similar in their properties, which is why the common place for so many elements, praseodymium can substitute for most lanthanides without significant changes. It is used in various alloys that are used in aircraft engines. Many of its industrial uses involve its ability to filter yellow light from light sources. Neodymium gets its name from the Greek neos didymos, which means new twin. Neodymium, ND, is a popular additive in glasses and is used in making high-strength permanent neodymium magnets, which are widely used in professional microphones, loudspeakers, and high-performance DC motors. Prometheum is named after the titan Prometheus, from Greek mythology, who stole fire from the gods and brought it down to humans. This element was discovered while analyzing the effects of the fission product of uranium, hence the names Prometheum symbolize both the daring and the possible misuse of mankind's intellect. Prometheum is used mainly for research purposes in highly specialized labs. Samarium is named after Samarskite, the mineral from which it was isolated. The mineral was in turn named after Colonel Vasily Samarsky Byakhovitz, a Russian mine official. A radioactive isotope of samarium, SM-153, is used in the treatment of lung, prostate and breast cancer. Another isotope is used in the control rods of nuclear reactors. Europium, EU, gets its name from the continent Europe, where it was discovered. Europe itself was named after the Phoenician princess Europa from Greek mythology. Most applications of europium exploit the phosphorescence of its compounds. Europium is one of the rarest of the rare earth elements on earth. Gadolinium, GD, was named in honor of the chemist Johann Gadolin, who discovered the element yttrium and pioneered lab exercise teaching. Gadolinium has primarily research-based applications, especially due to its paramagnetic property at room temperature. Another one of the four elements named after the Swedish village of Yeturbi, terbium, is found in several minerals, including gadolinite. Terbium TB is used in fluorescent lamps and cathode ray tubes in old televisions. Dysprosium is derived from the Greek dysprostos, which means hard to get at because it took the discoverer more than 30 attempts at before he could isolate the element. Dysprosium is used in making incredibly strong permanent magnets as well as other magnetic applications. Homium is of course not named after the detective Sherlock Holmes, but actually after the Latin version Homia of the name of the city Stockholm in Sweden. Homium has the highest magnetic strength of any element and is therefore used to create the strongest artificially generated magnetic fields. Erbium ER also gets its name from our favorite Swedish village of Yeterby. It's almost an art to squeeze out so many names from just one, but the mine itself also did squeeze out so many elements. Erbium is used in photographic filters and lasers. Thulium TM is named after Thul, an ancient Roman and Greek name for a mythical country possibly in Scandinavia. It is used as the radiation source in portable X-ray devices and in some lasers. Euterbium is the fourth of the elements named after Euterby, Sweden, and this one uses its full name rather than fractions of it. Euterbium YB is mainly used as a dopant of stainless steel to help improve strength and other mechanical properties. It is also used in high-stability atomic clocks and sometimes as a gamma-ray source.
Lutetium gets its name from the Latin Lutetia, which was the name for Paris, but actually means place of mud in Gaulish. It was found as an impurity in Euterbia, the mineral that contained that quartet of elements, and was proposed to be named, among other things, Neo Euterbium. Lutetium LU is the last of the lanthanides and is used in petroleum cracking, in refineries as a catalyst, and in other industrial chemical processes. Hafnium, HF, is derived from the Latin Hafnia, which means Copenhagen, the capital city of Denmark, where it was discovered. Hafnium was also predicted by Mendeleev and was the last stable element to be discovered. It is used in filaments, electrodes, and control rods in nuclear reactors, as well as some semiconductor fabrication processes. Tantalum, TA, is named after Tantalus from Greek mythology, who was punished to be condemned to stand in knee deep water but never be able to reach the water to drink it. It's where we get the word tantalizing. This was considered similar to Tantalum's non reactivity or unreachability. Tantalum is used extensively in capacitors in electronic equipment like mobile phones, video games, systems, and computers. It is found in the mineral tantalite with niobium, an element named after Tantalus's daughter. Tungsten gets its name from the Swedish and Danish tung sten, which means heavy stone. The symbol W is from the German name Wolfram, meaning wolf cream. Tungsten has the highest melting point of all the elements at 3422 degrees Celsius and the highest boiling point at 5930 degrees Celsius. Tungsten's alloys are used in light bulb filaments, x-ray tubes and electrodes in gas tungsten arc welding as well as in radiation shielding. Rhenium RE gets its name from the Latin Renus for the river Rhine in Europe. Rhenium alloys are used in combustion chambers, turbine blades and exhaust nozzles of jet engines. Osmium has a beautiful bluish silver color and the coolest but understated name in my opinion. Osmium OS is derived from the Greek osmi, meaning a smell, because its compound is extremely foul smelling. It is the densest naturally occurring element and is used to make the tip of fountain pen nibs, electrical contacts, and other applications that require extreme durability and hardness. Iridium is named after the Latin iris, which means rainbow, because of its salt's strong colors. Iris was originally the name of the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. Iridium is the most corrosion resistant metal and is extremely rare just like its neighbors. Iridium IR is used to make electrical spark plugs, particularly in aviation. A platinum iridium alloy was used to fashion the international prototype meter and kilogram mass kept by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures near Paris. Iridium is also used in particle physics for the production of antiprotons, a form of antimatter. Platinum gets its name from the Spanish platina, which means little silver, because it was first found in a silver mine. Plata is silver, so platina is little silver. Platinum is one of the most expensive metals in existence, but when in the 16th century it was seen as an impurity in gold, official decrees were passed forbidding the adulteration of gold with platinum. Platinum PT, is used in catalytic converters, which help control vehicle emissions in cars as well as in jewelry and petroleum refining as well as electrical applications. Platinum group metals is the name of a cluster of six of the 11 noble metals that occur together in the same mineral deposits and have similar physical and chemical properties. These are ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, osmium, iridium and platinum, all of which are extremely expensive. Gold gets its name from the Anglo-Saxon word good that comes from the Proto-Indo-European gel meaning yellow or bright. The symbol for gold AU comes from the Latin aurum which means shining dawn. Gold has been known to humans for around 8000 years and most likely because it is found in its free form as nuggets or grains of gold due to its non-reactive nature. It has been used for coins, jewelry and as a neutron reflector in nuclear weapons. In the past, a gold standard was implemented, meaning all currencies were pegged in comparison to a standard value of gold, although this was abandoned for a fiat system after 1971. Fiat money therefore gets its value from just being considered as something of value. Mercury is named after the Roman god of speed and the messenger of the gods of the same name. Note that Mercury was named after the Roman god and not the planet, unlike Uranium, Neptunium and Plutonium, which we will see soon enough. The symbol HG is from Greek words Hydor and Argyros, which became the Latin Hydrargium, which means water silver, because it is liquid like water at room temperature and has a silvery metallic sheen. Mercury is famously used in thermometers, barometers and sphygmomanometers. 
Mercury, despite its toxicity, was thought to prolong life, leading to the death of Qin Shi Huangdi, the first emperor of China, who was killed by drinking a mercury mixture which was supposed to grant him eternal life. His tomb allegedly contained rivers of flowing mercury to represent the rivers of China above ground. An equally erratic Egyptian ruler is said to have slept on a basin filled with mercury on top of air-filled cushions. Thallium, not to be confused with the previously discussed element thulium, gets its name from the Greek thallos, which means a green shoot or twig, because of its bright green spectral emission lines. Thallium, TL, is extremely toxic and was therefore used in rat poison, but has since been outlawed. The name of the element lead can be traced back, like most words, to Proto-Indo-European laud, and has no relation to the homonym lead. The chemical symbol of lead is PB from its Latin name plumbum, and since pipes in ancient Rome were made out of lead, we get the word plumbing. Lead has been known from as far back as 7000 BCE and has been used for all sorts of things. Some of these are batteries, bullets, solders, white paints, leaded gasoline, and radiation shielding. Lead is a neurotoxin, meaning it damages the nervous system and can therefore cause a lot of problems. And contrary to popular belief, pencil leads have never been made from lead. They are actually graphite, a form of elemental carbon. Bismuth metal has been known since ancient times, although it was often confused with lead and tin. The etymology is uncertain, but possibly comes from the German words Weissmass or Wismuth, meaning white mass, translated to Latin as bismuthum. Bismuth crystals have alien-looking structures with iridescent colors. Bismuth Bi is an ingredient in some pharmaceuticals, particularly for digestive disorders and in cosmetics. It can also be used to replace lead in many applications. Polonium is named after Poland, the homeland of its discoverer Marie Curie. Polonium, PO, has a few applications and those are related to radioactivity like in heaters and space probes, sources of neutrons and alpha particles and poison. Due to its radioactivity, it is extremely dangerous to humans. Astatine, AT, gets its name from the Greek astatos, meaning unstable. So unstable is it that no sample of the pure element has ever been assembled because any significant amount of astatine would immediately vaporize by the heat of its own radioactivity. It is also the rarest naturally occurring element in the Earth's crust, with much less than 1 gram present at any given time. It is being researched for its possible application in nuclear medicine. Radon was discovered as radioactive gas emanating from radioactive elements such as thorium, actinium, and radium. Three of its isotopes were named thorium emanation, actinium emanation, and radium emanation, based on which element they came from. Radium emanation was the most stable of the three and the element was therefore named radon. It has mostly obscure scientific radioactivity related applications. Radon RN can seep through the soil into buildings and cause indoor air to be contaminated by it, especially in rooms with bad ventilation. While it is insignificant in small amounts, higher concentrations of radon can cause lung cancer. Radon, in fact, is the second largest cause of lung cancer after smoking, of course. So maybe open a window. In my opinion, all the elements in the 7th period have quite interesting names. The first Francium, FR, is named after France, where it was discovered and was the last element discovered in nature rather than by synthesis. The discoverer had originally proposed to call it Catium, as she believed it to be the most electropositive cation of the elements, but her supervisor correctly opposed the name due to its connotation of cat rather than cation. It was named Francium and therefore became the second element after Gallium to be named after the same country. Due to its instability and rarity, there are no commercial applications of Francium. Radium, RA, gets its name from the Latin radius, meaning ray, because of its radioactivity. Other than its use in nuclear medicine, radium has no commercial applications, but in the past it was used in a lot of radioactive quackery and ultimately harmful inventions due to the lack of understanding of radioactivity. Some notable examples are heated blankets and radioactive toothpaste. It is also used as a source for radioluminescent devices. Actinium, AC, gives its name to the actinide series in the periodic table. Actinium is used as a neutron source and as an agent for radiation therapy. Thorium, another very cool name in my opinion, comes from Thor, the Norse god of thunder. Thorium's isotopes are very unstable and the most stable of them has a half-life of 14.05 billion years or about the age of the universe. On Earth, thorium, bismuth and uranium are the only three radioactive elements that occur naturally in large quantities. Thorium, TH, is often suggested as a replacement for uranium as nuclear fuel in reactors and several thorium reactors have also been built. 
Protactinium PA is a modification of the name suggested by its discoverers, Protoactinium, which meant precursor of actinium and reflected that actinium is a product of radioactive decay of protactinium. Earlier, the name Brevium had also been proposed due to the brief half-life of its less stable isotope. Because of its scarcity, high radioactivity and high toxicity, there are currently no uses of protactinium outside scientific research. Uranium, U, is named after the planet Uranus, which had been discovered eight years earlier in 1781. The planet itself was named after Uranus, the god of sky and heaven in Greek mythology. Uranium is used in nuclear power plants and nuclear weapons. It is also used to make plutonium, which is also used in nuclear weapons. The elements after uranium are called transuranic elements. They are all unstable and decay radioactively into other elements. Neptunium, NP, like its neighbors, gets its name from the neighboring planets in the solar system, in this case Neptune. The name was actually chosen specifically because it was the next element after Uranium, like the planet Neptune was directly after Uranus. That sounds bad. Neptune, the planet, was named after the Roman god of the oceans. Plutonium, PU, was named after Pluto, the dwarf planet, because it was discovered directly after Neptunium and is higher than Uranium in the periodic table, so by analogy with the order of the planets. Yes, I know Pluto is in a planet, but it was categorized as such when I was in school, so in my head it always goes after Neptune, albeit in brackets. The dwarf planet itself was named after Pluto, the god of the dead in classical mythology. Americium was named after the Americas because it was discovered in the United States, just like Europium was named after Europe. The name of the continent America is derived from the Italian navigator Amerigo Vespucci. Americium AM was produced by a group led by Glenn Seaborg, whom we will meet soon, as a part of the Manhattan Project. Americium is used in smoke detectors. Curium was named in honor of Marie and Pierre Curie, a couple of illustrious chemists who discovered radium and researched radioactivity. Curium CM was also identified by Seabox Group. It is used to make alpha particle X-ray spectrometers installed on several space probes like Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity rovers. Berkelium BK is named for the University of U California, Berkeley or UC Berkeley, where it was discovered. Berkeley, California, the place is named after George Berkeley, an Irish philosopher. Just over one gram of it has been produced in the US since 1967 and there is no practical application for Berkelium outside research. Californium is named after the US state California and also for the University of California, Berkeley, where it was synthesized. That makes UC Berkeley quite special for chemistry as it is a university in a city, in a state, on a continent, on a planet, all of which have elements named after them. Pardon the slight overlap. Californium CF can be used to start up nuclear reactors and as a source of neutrons. It was also employed to synthesize the last element in the periodic table, organesson. With an unusual sounding name, Einsteinium is named in honor of Albert Einstein for his work in theoretical physics. It has the chemical symbol ES and was discovered as a component of the debris of the first hydrogen bomb explosion in 1952, hence solidifying his association with weapons of mass destruction, something he was deeply saddened by. The high radioactivity of Einsteinium isotopes produces a visible glow and is the element with the highest atomic number that has been observed in microscopic quantities. Fermium was discovered alongside Einsteinium in the debris of the hydrogen bomb explosion. It has no applications and is marginally interesting for being the hundredth element of the periodic table. Mendelevium MD is named in honor of Dmitry Mendeleev, who invented the periodic table with all its salient and convenient features and a name we've heard a lot in this whole thing. Keeping up the tradition of naming elements after important scientists, Nobelium NO is named in honor of Alfred Nobel, who invented dynamite and instituted the Nobel Prizes Foundation. Lorentzium is named in honor of Ernest O. Lorentz, who was involved in the development of the cyclotron, a type of particle accelerator used to discover many artificial radioactive elements. The symbol for Lorentzium used to be LW, but has since been changed to LR. Rutherfordium, RF, is named in honor of Ernest Rutherford, who pioneered the Bohr model of the atom. The element has also been called Kurchatovium in honor of Igor Vasilievich Kurchatov, who helped develop understanding of the uranium chain reaction and the nuclear reactor. It is also called Unilquadium, UNQ, as a temporary placeholder name, which is literally 104, which is the element's atomic number. These were systematic element names used by IUPAC until the element was discovered at which point it would get a proper name. This is also the first element that my version of Microsoft Word does not recognize.
Dubnium DB is named for Dubna, the city which has the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in the USSR, where it was discovered. Many other elements were also claimed to have been discovered here, but some accepted and some claims rejected. Their rival researchers at UC Berkeley had proposed the name Hanium in honor of Otto Hahn for his pioneering work in radioactivity and radiochemistry, but the proposal was rejected. It had the systematic element name Unilpentium 105 or UNP. Seaborgium SG is named in honor of Glenn T. Seaborg, who we've met before as he discovered the chemistry of the transuranic elements, shared in the discovery of 10 elements, and developed and proposed the actinide series. The temporary name was Unilhexium, UNH, or 106. It is one of the only two elements named after a living person at the time of naming. Borium, BH, is named in honor of Niels Bohr, who made fundamental contributions to the understanding of atomic structure and quantum mechanics. Temporary name, Unil Septium, UNS 107. Hassium's name is derived from the Latin Hassia, which means Hesse, the German state where it was discovered, at the Institute for Heavy Iron Research, Darmstadt. It has the chemical symbol HS, it had the systematic element name Unil Octium 108, and had the rather fun chemical symbol UNO or UNO. Meitnerium MT is named in honor of Lise Meitner, who shared the discovery of nuclear fission. This is also the only element named after a female scientist. Curium has partial claim as it was named in honor of Marie and Pierre both. Mitnerium had the temporary name Unilenium, UNE or 109. Darmstadium is named for Darmstadt, where it was discovered at the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Iron Research. Darmstadt rather unfortunately literally means intestine city. It had the temporary name Ununilium, UUN or 110. Röntgenium, RG, is named in honor of Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, who produced and detected X-rays. The element has also been called Eka Gold and temporarily named Unununium, UUU or 111. Copernicium, CN, was named in honor of Nicolaus Copernicus, the Polish astronomer who formulated the model of the universe that placed the sun rather than the earth at the center of the universe. The team that discovered it proposed the name to, quote, honor an outstanding scientist who changed our view of the world. The chemical symbol proposed was originally CP, although that was given to Cassiopium, an older name for Lutetium, and hence to remove confusion, the symbol CN was chosen. The name was officially accepted on the 537th anniversary of Copernicus' birth. It of course had the temporary name Unun B. UUB or 112. Nihonium NH is named after the common name of Japan, Nihon, where it was discovered. It also had the temporary name Ununtrium 113 and the symbol UUT. Nihonium was one of the last elements to get its name in 2016, alongside three more. Flerovium FL was discovered at the Flerov Laboratory of Nuclear Reactions of the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia. The element was therefore named after the lab and the Russian physicist Georgi Flerov, who was a pioneer of Soviet nuclear physics and founder of the institute in Dubna. Flerovium is really fun to say. Flerovium. Systematic elemental name. Ununquadium, UUQ or 114. Moscovium MC was part of the quartet of elements named in 2016. It was named in order of Moscow Oblast, the federal subject or region of Russia, also called Muscovia, where the element was discovered. This also creates the Berkeleyish scenario where a lab in a city, in a region, in a country, on a planet all have elements named in their honor. Only about 100 atoms of Muscovium have been observed to date. It had the temporary name Ununpentium, UUP or 115. Livermorium LV is named in honor of Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, which collaborated in the discovery and is in Livermore, California. It had the name Ununun Hexium, UUH, or 116. Tennessine TS was discovered by a Russian-American team in Dubna, Russia in 2010, making it the most recently discovered element, at least as of 2020. It was named after the US state Tennessee, which was proposed by the American members of the team as important work for one of the steps to synthesize the element was done there. It was part of the 2016 announcement of elements names. Previously, it had the name Ununseptium, UUS or 117. 
organesson is the last of the 118 elements in the periodic table with the highest atomic number and the atomic mass of all known elements organesson is the og element pardon the pun og is its chemical symbol it was named after yuri organesian a great contributor to the field of synthesizing super heavy elements his techniques cold fusion and hot fusion helped discover a total of 12 elements borium meitnerium hassium darmstadtium rongenium Copernicium, Nihonium, Fluorovium, Moscovium, Livermorium, Tennessine, and his namesake, Organesson. Organesson is one of only two elements named after a person who was alive at the time of naming, the other being Seaborgium, and the only element whose namesake is alive today. <sighs> that is all I have to say about the meaning of the names of the 118 known elements. There is, of course, the possibility to have even more elements added, which could possibly mean an eighth row, but it seems to be quite a way away. Till then, I'm done with this massive project and my curiosity is sufficiently satisfied. I had a related idea, one that would mean even more work on my end, but if you'd be interested in a similar video about the meanings behind the names of all the countries, let me know in the comment section right here. Subscribe to be notified when the next equally insane project comes out as I don't necessarily upload my videos periodically. You can reach me on Twitter, Instagram and my website, although I'm not always very reactive. Thank you, goodbye.